Coming up next, you're going to have an opportunity to go into a chilling world. This is the key word for this next presentation. When you have an opportunity to meet a forensic nurse who has her doctorate degree in nursing practice, who has a special interest in a topic that makes you want to run out of the room, and yet you don't want to miss a word, and that is healthcare serial killers. Meet Pamela Tabor, who will tell you in just a couple of minutes what we finished discussing in her podcast, which we just finished recording. Thank you. The podcast was very exciting. There's so much information I would love to give you. I could talk on it for hours that we covered what is a healthcare serial killer? How do you define them? And how are they different from healthcare serial killers in general? We also talked about what piqued my interest to get into this area of nursing, which is quite chilling and frightening. We spent some time talking about methods, the most commonly used methods that healthcare serial killers use in their work environment to kill patients. We also looked at ways that or things that we can observe in coworkers that should pique our interest or make us a little bit suspicious. How do we know who they should be looking at if a case is open? So things that you can think about and reflect on your coworkers. We also want to look at red flags. What are red flags that trigger this? Then I think for me, most importantly, we were looking at how the LNC can incorporate this into their practice. Why you are in such a phenomenal position to really help lead the way into this due to having such extensive knowledge medically and legally. I would love to see LNCs get more involved in this. So, and so we talked about a few ways, a few tips to get started or things that you can do to be involved. Thank you, Pamela. Be sure to check out our next episode of Legal Nurse Podcast and meet Dr. Pamela Tabor when we talk about healthcare serial killers. I'll see you there.